Okay, so every time I edit my vlogs lately, I just hate the intros. I think they're so boring. So today we're keeping it short and sweet. We are in Paris. You're coming along with us for the day. First stop was breakfast. We got a chicken schnitzel and we got a ricotta, panna cotta, chocolate caramel, French toast. Shared both, absolutely divine. And now we're heading to the Grand Palace to go to an Irving Penn exhibition. We haven't booked tickets for it, but we should get in, right? Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's not gonna be busy. No, shouldn't. No. Famous last words. What? This is where we came for brunch, Hardware Society. They've run one in Melbourne as well, which is cool. And we're very close to Sacre Coeur. We walked here from the Gardenau station. Gardenau. Gardenau. And it was pouring rain, hence the umbrellas. But now it's not raining, it's lovely. Come on, focus. So this season I've actually been filming my outfits, um, not every day, but just when I really like one. And I'm making a what I wore this winter video. So I'm gonna get Alan to film my outfit later today for that video. But if you do wanna know any details about what I'm wearing, what Alan's wearing, it will be in the description box below. Like my coat is new, it's from Urban Outfitters. Isn't it amazing? I love this colour. When I bought it, I thought it was going to be bright yellow. It's more gold, but I really, really like it. And it's so warm. Halfway down is the Grand Palace. The weather's pretty bad to go yet, guys. Like, it's really windy as well. I'm so excited to go in the Grand Palace because it's where they do the Chanel fashion shows and I've never been in. So this is going to be really fun. And I love portrait photography, so I'm a really big fan of Irving Penn. It's going to be fun to kind of see his work and get inspired for my own photography. So we're done inside. So what did you make of it? I really liked it. We're about to head into Colette for the last time. It closes officially on the 20th of December. So it closes really soon. They've got a Saint Laurent up on the top floor currently. It's definitely going to be missed. We're going through the t-shirt racks because they've got some Colette t-shirts. 40. I think we should get it. Do you want to share it? So it's so yeah. big. So these are cool. So this brand has collaborated with Colette to do some t-shirts. There's a few different ones. I like this one. So it's the Saint Laurent exhibition. Well, it's not an exhibition, the floor. Because they've collaborated for December. Which is cool. Obviously you've got the nice floors. It's pretty cool to see it all laid out, but when, in case you guys didn't know, when Colette closes on the 20th of December, Saint Laurent is moving into this space and it's going to be an entirely Saint Laurent shop, which is why they're ending on them. Did you see anything down there? It's all the Lalabo perfumes in the beauty area and they have got Glossier here as well. If you wanted Glossier and you can get here in time, they've got the perfume, beauty products, they've got it all, which is great. 
So some of the exclusives for the Saint Laurent Colette collab were some stickers, got like cigarette Rizla holders, and then they have matches here. They also had lighters but they sold out. If you've watched all of our Paris vlogs, you'll know Alan and I love that store. It's just so cool. It's I think probably one of the first concept stores that there ever was. Kind of invented the term concept store. It's just iconic and something I love even more about it is the owner Sarah. She has run it for 20 years with her mum. The reason Colette is closing down is she wants to, she basically came out saying that you know her mum is at an age where she wants to retire and they don't want to sell Colette onto a corporation or someone else and then watch it fall down or become something they don't want it to be. So instead they decided you know the mum's ready to retire, they're gonna just shut it down and end on a high which I feel like shows how humble they are. Something else to bear in mind is when we were in there last time Sarah the owner was in there like serving people. Today when we just bought our things her mum was there serving people and I think it shows how humble they are and I love that so much. Like how rare you wouldn't see like the owner of any shop you know serving people. I think we can go this way because it's a nice to place for the dome. But yeah it's just really nice to see. Okay, so I have a confession to make. It's been like over a week since this day in Paris. I haven't got around to editing this vlog and I also just stopped vlogging halfway through the day because I was having such a nice time with Alan. So I thought I'd quickly show you a couple pictures that I took that day. So this first one is in Colette. Kind of gives you more of an idea of the Saint Laurent layout um, on the top floor. I really liked it because it had that like classic Saint Laurent feel to it but it did also still feel like you weren't in a Saint Laurent store because it didn't have too much reflective mirrors or lights. I thought it was really cool. Um, and Colette's closed now, it closed today which is just so sad but I don't know, maybe they'll do something else next, who knows. And then next up is my outfit that was for the day which I really really liked. I basically had my new Urban Outfitters coat on which is like a huge puffer coat with a black turtleneck from Mango and then I paired that tucked into wide leg um, high-waisted pinstripe trousers. These are JW Anderson Uniqlo from that collaboration and then I just wore my classic Vans. I love how this was paired together. It was like super smart with the trousers but then my trainers and my coat made it kind of like street and urban and modern. And then here are just some pictures from the Irving Penn exhibition that I really, really loved. So if you didn't know, Irving Penn is a famous portrait photographer. He's no longer alive, but he did most of his work for Vogue and in fashion. And he's just a really talented man. He would really try and strip back everything around the women he was taking pictures of or the actors he was taking pictures of and try and really show something within their persona through the photography and I really admire that. I love portrait photography so seeing this exhibition was definitely exciting for me um, and I really enjoyed it and I think something I learned from this exhibition is it's the kind of thing that I would have always wanted to see in the past but because it was in Paris I never would have kind of gone out of my way to see it and I talked about this on my Instagram recently but I don't know you have to live a life with intention and if you want to do something you have to do it so that's what happened I wanted to see the Irving Penn exhibition in Paris so we went and we had a fantastic day I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I won't keep you much longer Merry Christmas to all of you I will have a new video soon although I'm not sure when but have a fantastic Christmas if I don't see you before then and yeah, I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.